Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and today I join you for our first impressions. Or you join me for first impressions. We're joining each other for our first impressions. Uh, this is the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy little set. It, came, it comes with a mini eyeshadow palette, a mascara, and I think it's like an eye topper, like a loose pigment of some sort. Um, I have everything else on my face. I'm wearing the Ulta Youthful Glow Concealer, the nude sticks, like stick, mini stick things I bought on my cheeks. I tried these out on my eyes and they crease immediately. So I forgot to mention that in my video yesterday. Not great on the eyes, they crease right away, but the rest of the cheeks and the face, I think it looks nice. Anyway, um, let's try to open this bad boy. I thought it was just gonna like pop right open, but it doesn't seem to be. Is there like a little tear thing? Um, let me go get some scissors. Okay, I just ended up tearing it with some tweezers. <clears throat> I don't know, how do you guys feel about the the sequins with the plastic bag kind of style when it's this expensive? I actually like the plastic bag style um, packaging that other brands have been doing. The sequins, to me, cheapen it a little bit. I don't know, they don't, sequins to me have never been like a luxury thing. They've always seemed like kitschy, which not a bad thing. It just seems like kind of, uh, and then this kind of stuff happens, right? Like those are gonna get stuck. The dog's gonna get those in his mouth. Any, like, literally, they were all in here. Okay, anyway, here is the palette. This is what it looks like here. Really, really pretty. There's the back. And then here's your actual little palette. All right, of course, you get a mirror here. And then six shades. I've never even touched one of these eyeshadows before because, I don't know, even the ones that they have in the store, they're destroyed. It's like someone scraped all the eyeshadow out to take it home or something. Um, you get a mascara with sequins stuck all over it. All right. Uh, the fetish eyes. Fetish eyes. That's nice. I don't have mascara on either. Cool. All right. Excited to try it. And then the last thing in here with sequins stuck all over it uh, is... Angel Dust Crystalline Prismatic Pigment. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a messy one. All right. Okay. We'll try that out later. I feel like this is going to be a mess. Like, um, I have one from Makeup Geek that I cannot figure out how to use for the life of me. Uh, anyway, let's swatch out this little palette here. There's the top row here. As far as the feeling of these, when they're swatched, they don't feel like, it sounds kind of rude. They don't feel like anything I've never felt before. They feel like a mix of Juvia's Place, like that kind of, um, not Juvia's Place, what is that? These two felt like Juvia's Place, like that almost like like oily kind of feeling, but not, that sounds bad, right? Like oily, but you know what I mean? They're like, they feel rich. They feel like they have some sort of oil in them or some sort of dimethicone or something. Let's see what we can figure out by reading. Um, dimethicone. Number one ingredient is mica. One of them has talc. Third ingredient, dimethicone. Fourth ingredient, dimethicone. Yeah, that's how they feel. They feel like they have some sort of dimethicone um, feeling to them. I couldn't think of the word. I said mineral oil instead. But they feel really, really nice. But they feel like eyeshadows I've used before. But they're very pigmented, as you saw. They're really pretty. So I think what I'm going to do... My cat's trying to get in. Hold on. He didn't know what to do. I closed the door on him. Um, let's do... So obviously the only mattes were this dark brown one here and the black one. And the rest were like foiled style metallics. I'm most likely never going to use that black. It's intense. Like, it feels rich like freaking oil. Um, let's go in with this one right here. Holy crap, that's a lot of pigment. Okay, hold on. Look, now he's trying to get out. He doesn't like the door to be closed. If he was in here, he'd be in here perfectly fine with the door open, but my boyfriend's washing dishes and stuff. The sun just went behind some clouds. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh my god. Okay, let's just put it on. I had on, I have on concealer as primer. There we go, sun. 
come back out. Very pigmented, very pretty, blending very easily. All right, I feel like I overdid it over here. I don't know, stuff always looks different over here than it does over here. Okay, let's go with one of the, which one do I want? The gold one or this one or that one or this one or that one or this one. <laughs> Could be any of them. Oh my gosh, they're all so pretty though. This one's really pretty here. That one. It's like purple, but with like brick red in it. It's a shade I don't see a lot. I kind of want to use that one. Yeah, let's go with that one. This one right here. Nope, that's not the one. That's the purple one. <sighs> the one here in the middle. This is why I don't do first impressions. Because I don't really know what to do. Oh, you know what's cool? The palette magnetizes to the back like this. So it doesn't, uh, well, I mean, obviously it'll fall. But it stays. So you don't have to like hold it closed. That is a nice little detail. So far, no noticeable fallout. These are really nice. These are going on really pretty. And smooth, blendable, they're sticking to the lid. Kinda, hold on, is that one not sticking? Okay, give me a sec. Okay, <clears throat> so I just ended up blend, I mean, practically to the eyebrow. I don't love what's going on over here. Like, it's not sticking on my my skin very well. Um, but, I don't know. We'll see what'll happen. I actually do want to try out the black. Uh, because, I don't know what it is. I just, I just felt something today. Like, you know what? I want to try that black eyeshadow. Oh my god, I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. Okay. Let's do like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. Oh, okay. I'm scared. Maybe if I just press it in the, the outer corner. I kind of wanted some darkness, but not black. That doesn't make any sense. Darkness, but not, you know, I don't want it to be a black eyed look. Okay, let's try it again. Stamp it, stamp it. Oh, I did put a little bit of the gold on my eyelid. I got carried away. I forgot I wasn't recording. I forgot I was on pause. Okay. Okay, not as scary as I imagined. Let's see what it's looking like. Ooh, no. It's looking scary. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like what I'm doing. I don't like this side. This side is not coming out that well. Don't know what it is, but I do like I do like the the rest of it, the darkness. Maybe it's just the way my eyes are looking today. I have like a lot of folds in my eyelids, and I feel like maybe it's just that that's not working. It looks fine over here. I don't know. Okay. No, it's not looking that good on this side. It's bugging me. Okay. Let's go back in with that original like dark brown shade that one or that not even brown it's like a reddish brown see if we can fix it Ugh. this is frustrating I don't <sighs> okay let's just put some lower lash line on and I'll try out the mascara give me a sec <sighs> okay we're just gonna go with it. It's gonna be a grungy, I slept in this eyeshadow kind of look. Not the worst, not the best I've ever done. I just, I don't know what it was. Just today the shadows just weren't working for me, especially on this side, they were kind of bugging me. But I think mascara usually makes everything look better. I'm definitely not gonna give up on this palette. I'm gonna keep using it. I think just being out of my element, like I usually do makeup back there, sitting down, I'm not the same distance from the mirror as I normally am. 
And I just feel like the first impression setup isn't really working for me. Definitely not the eyeshadow's fault. I do like the quality, blendability, the colors all go together. I pulled it together, I think. Um, mascara. Fetish Eyes Mascara. Very excited to try this out. I hear good things. I read good... You know what? I think I like it now. I think I like it. I think I like this eye with no bronzer. I think it looks kind of cool. Okay. Move on. All right. Not bad. All right. It it is a is this natural bristles? Yes. It's a natural bristle brush. The formula is to me it feels on the drier side. Lengthens, separates, does all the things. This is really nice. My actor lashes look fake. Don't those look like fake lashes? Okay, let me do the other side. I'll be right back. I think the mascara brought it together. Maybe some lower lash line stuff. So I was struggling with these eyeshadows at first, especially on this side, but I feel like it was just one of those days. You know, sometimes I think I don't want to fault the eyeshadow for my lack of skills. You know what I mean? Like, these are very nice quality eyeshadows. They blended really nicely for the most part. And um, they go well together. I even tried out the black one. I It's just my skills, and I really think it's just one of those days. You know, sometimes you could use the exact same primer, same brushes, same eyeshadows, at the same exact placement, and sometimes it's not going to work. So, you know, it was just one of those days. But I think it came together well. I think it maybe just the lighting, too, wasn't looking right. But I, th I don't know. I kind of like it. I think it came out nicely now. Um, mascara is, first impression, obviously, really, really nice. I mean, look at my eyelashes. Um, I did one coat and then another one real quick before it dried. It's a really dry mascara, but I think it looks great. I didn't put any of the lower lash line. I don't have any mascaras right now, I trust, because I ran out of my, um, Maybelline Snap Mascara, and I love that stuff. Um, I bought the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara, and it smudges like crazy. Let's get a little bit of this out. It's taking a long time to get it out of here. Uh, okay, well, let's just get a little to try it. Oh my god, it's really chunky. Oh yeah, this isn't for me. Oh my god, maybe it is. <gasps> hold on, hold on. <gasps> okay. Hold on, hold the phone. Okay, that's really pretty. Oh boy, this feels like an elevated glitter if I've ever felt one. Like, it feels like nothing. Like, it literally feels like there's nothing there. No grittiness, no chunkiness. I can't feel a thing. <gasps> wow. Okay, now I regret not using that. I don't know how to use it anyway. Where would I even put it? On the inner corner, maybe? I would mess it up. I'm not going to try it just yet. Anyway, you know what? The eyeshadow is growing on me. I think I really, really like it now. Okay. Uh, first, okay, that's it. That's my video. Thanks so much for watching it. I was just going to go rambling on again, but thanks for watching this video. This was $40, $45, something like that. The eyeshadow quality in this palette is really lovely. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I don't know if it's like the most unique formula I've ever tried in my life. It's nice though. I definitely don't regret purchasing it. This, I got to give another try on the eyes and then the mascara was really, really nice. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. That's it. That's my video. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have tried any Pat McGrath stuff, I'm sure you have. Everybody has. I'm like the last person on the planet, I think, to try it or swatch it or anything. And I don't regret my purchase at all. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you another one. Goodbye.